yeah, so might as well jump into the big one from the start. And uh, hey, hey, feelings, right? Yeah, feelings. How, you having them? How about how about those? Do you think feelings? other people are having feelings? Other people have had feelings, certainly. Um, you know okay. what's funny? All right. Yeah. Somebody asked me last week, "Hey, are you guys ever going to talk about this?" And I'm like, "I'm never f- going to talk about it. I'm going to sh." Okay. Uh no, I think I think I I I should because uh, you know, let me just put up the. The, the the barrier the keke genkai <laughs> you just need to, you just need to feel your own feelings bro mm-hmm, mm-hmm. look man i don't i don't need to get into any any wars with anyone online i don't i, well, I, I want to thank you for taking this hit for me you're a hero that's okay that's okay no matter what you're about to say you're a hero i deliberately me. disengage with with <laughs> uh, a, a lot of, of social media as much as i can to improve my quality of life and it's been working However, I did finish Attack on Titan. <laughs> you're a you're hero, son. You're, oh boy. <laughs> I, I so appreciate you doing this for us. <laughs> you didn't have to do it. And maybe that was wrong of you to do. Mm-hmm. 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 But I did. I did. And and... I, before, before we continue, I need to stop you. Because okay. I don't have a, nearly as much to say. I think the way they have scheduled and released this show is maybe the worst I have ever seen. I think any other way the show could have been like released years long breaks like 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 filler even would have been better than me looking at the phrase get ready for the final chapter part yeah. two part four part <laughs> the part four of the third arc it okay um oh boy every i'm i'm sure people are gearing the fuck up but 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 just but here's what like that division fucking sucks and it's such a hype killer and like the context uh, uh especially was for me i have and it's not so secret because i've mentioned it from time to time but I've deliberately not brought up Attack on Titan throughout the course of the podcast that much, on the channel that much, we because I've been secret lot back in the season one days. In the early days. And then it hit a point where I was like, oh my God, this is fucking amazing. I mm-hmm. love this so much. I don't want to, and I don't even want to risk engaging with anybody on this shit. Yeah. Right? Just Me and my friend. for as long as it'll take. I've been gushing. Me and Punch Mom have been having tons of discussions about this and going in and gushing with other people we know that are into it and just keeping that away from all of this to enjoy it for what it is because it's so fucking, it's so good, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I, there was, you know, there'd be things where people were like, oh, I hate when it got political. And be like, no, I loved when it got political. And I was like, oh, I hate when it, it was like, no, political no, no, I, right away. Like, like it, 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 well, no, because the thing is that the, the, the show. Oh, you mean the, the goes, succession shit? It, it no, because it, it goes it, it it goes from shonen in season one right off the bat, and it slowly graduates into a seinen show, right? Mm-hmm. And like that trickle, that that very gradual ev- uh, uh, um, um, thing where it ages up into that happens, starting with like yeah, there's a, a season of or, or, of of um, um, government and politics and discussions and boardrooms and things like that. That I saw some people giving. Uh, shit to where i was just like in my i'm to me i'm like i i love it so much and i think i came back in to we a couple times we kind of came back in to just go man the basement is so worth it you know um as as one of those bits so i guess um seeing how they divided everything up and how it took so long and how it was, it was so fucking cut into you cut the swiss cheese bits into the final bit and then you take the final bit and you cut it it's like god damn it man this is excruciating because and the thing is that what was coming out was still so fucking high quality and the budget and the amazing like quality animation and the music and the work and the production was all getting so so fucking high that i'm like i get it they're taking their time right to make this thing as detailed as they possibly can and um it's fucking gorgeous like it you can see that they're they really did spare no expense towards the end there i guess once um I think as yeah, Mappa took over, right? And then like they really got to a point where 
um, they kind of went, okay, we're just going to do as whatever we can to, um, it's going to take as long as it takes to make this look as pretty and as and sound as good as it, as it does. And they're going to also add details to things and flesh things out in a way that is, is just, I, I don't know. I just, I loved a lot of, of that. So I felt like impatient, but I am also like, I, I get it. They're taking their time with this and they don't want to rush it because if a, if a rushed shittier version of this finale goes down, it's going to be even worse, which, um, yeah, well, again, there's some, some comparison points to make. So, uh that being said i suppose um i'm, I'm gonna talk about attack on titans uh finale here and uh if you uh don't want to hear about that or you're dodging those spoilers uh, i guess now would be the time to tune out right um so uh um, hold on while i dramatically remove my headphones only to put them right back on <laughs> so so like right off the bat um i have to say that my feeling on the ending is 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 super mixed and uh uh there's some shit that i loved and there's some shit that i hate and i remember right around the time when i started hearing about how the manga was wrapping up and how angry people were about that that i was like okay i need to just go cold dark i need to not catch any of that because i right around that time when the manga dropped and, and everyone was really upset about how it ended and I, I caught that it was they were angry but i didn't know why i was in the middle of like loving everything about this show and i still love so much about it and and and, and um thoroughly enjoyed the attention to detail on on a lot of things and how um very few things are like planted in such a way where it means nothing and they go back and the way they're fucking like, the way time is fucked within this was a very is, it was a very satisfying one i found like when you're going to do a time traveling story and fuck around with things like that here um i i think they there was maximal holy shit moments of 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 building out these characters that i i thought was awesome um the 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 way things wrap up in the anime is something where i look at how uh basically i'm like armin is unbelievable as a character so good and everything about how uh he plays through that ending with like what he's got the cards he's dealt plays out in a way that i'm like damn i really feel for you and i and i and, it, and i feel for everyone that has to put up with Aaron's shit because I can't believe how much of an asshole this fucker is. Mm -hmm. um, Eren is... It's an interesting version of events where you see Eren as, like, the same thing that you apply to Star-Lord, where you're like, hey, remember that Impatience from Guardians 2? Well, here it is in Endgame. It's a little bit of that, where it's like that same fucker that's like, oh, I'm just... I'm... I'm through the... I'm just... I'm irrational. I'm just bullheaded and I'm stubborn and I truly believe in the extremes and I and I and I will not take no for an answer but then also it's from what I can understand like Aaron's transition from being a problem to the problem yeah it's it's kind of insane right um and I have no problem with a character becoming an asshole um re you know be, uh, revealing themselves to just not be able to fucking deal with it well uh, whatever reasons they they give you know like if it, it I, I have no problem with that kind of thing happening ultimately but um what what bothers me the most i think is just that like um the events unfolding like the way again the things the characters are doing everything there checks out it makes sense we got to go shut him down we got to go stop him all that is there Aaron's fucking lost and he's he's doing all this shit um but the ultimate conclusion is so depressing and hopeless and just feels bad and kind of just cynical about things in a way that I'm like oh man that sucks for these characters that deserve better and fought and sacrificed and suffered for so much and like you know re obviously real life is not always a happy conclusion and not a happy ending certainly um you can tell stories like that if that's the ultimate per point if that's the ultimate purpose i guess but 
I I just kind of like this wasn't a case of like hitting the the f finale of of Berserk and like being like oh that made me feel bad therefore I hate it per se of, of the anime for you know when we think back to you know I remember having that argument with people where they're like oh this this story sucks because it made me feel bad it's not necessarily that this is a story that is all about human suffering and it's all about the the, the similar discussions we've had about like at what point do the tables turn and where should we consider vengeance complete and where should you you know uh, um what is righteous anger you know uh, in in murdering civilians and, and yada yada and you're just kind of like the thing with the thing ultimately is just like you're left at this point where you're like okay so no matter what happens here like you're left with 20 percent of the population and a world where conflict still exists because of course it does yeah because humans that, are so flawed. To me, and if you I, were to what and Aaron, if Aaron were to have been successful in theory there would have been more peace by killing even more people is like you know man it's really funny a hard pill to swallow I don't know if this was on stream last uh, on one on like on my show or if it was on the podcast last week but I talked about how the 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 themes in the Like a Dragon games are occasionally off the chain insane, in which the theme of Yakuza 2, the whole question of that game is, should we have exterminated all of the mm -hmm. foreigners? Mm -hmm. Was letting some of them get away a mistake? And the the game like struggles with it like it mm -hmm. really struggles mm -hmm. it does eventually say no that was wrong but like it it really mm -hmm. goes back and forth on it and and, and, and so that's nuts and for attack on titan to have like this like an incredibly similar takeaway like for me I have not watched it. I've only gotten the Cliffs notes. But the idea that all of this shit happened and you didn't even make anything any better? It's like it, there's still war? Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, I'm, and I mean, and, and, and again, like it's not <laughs> that you can fix people. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't have to be your, your takeaway, certainly. But I guess I, I do just kind of wonder, like, um, yeah, I guess I, I always, and, and this is. Uh, you know, I, I say all this knowing I'm like, look, man, I'm sure there's the version of this where I'm like not being media literate enough or if someone is like, I disagree because you're you're not taking a certain angle into account here. But just just in terms of uh, how I felt, I was like, yeah, I just I love the characters and, and I felt for them and everything they were going through. And I felt that like the more I got to see them hit a point of ultimate exhaustion, just the more I was like bleeding for them. Like there's a moment where. Armin is just yelling at himself on the ground that is so fucking heavy and real and just good because he's just describing how much he hates himself for not being able to do anything at the moment at, at, at like at this point this crucial time mm -hmm. and it's like one of the best scenes in the entire fucking show like it's unbelievable like like there's these moments that go down where when they want to like make someone feel so human. My like my favorite scene, you know, before this was like the the Reiner moment uh, uh, back uh, in the the Reiner reveal back in like season two or three or so, where like he just forgets what side he's on and what's going on, and is just like it's such a human thing. It's so fucking incredible, and like this this story really shines at these moments, you know. And then for Eren to be this this like just insane fuck up of a. A dumbass who self admits that he's a dumbass and then gets confused with it and stuff, and 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 I kind of went back and I and I remember too that like um I was trying to understand I was like, but ultimately like, there's so much of that ending that I thought was awesome as well, but I just I kind of am like is your ultimate takeaway of things like uh, of the, people suck, we're we're horrible and as long as we exist war is going to exist and we're going to be shitty conflict all of that you can't get over oh it. man they took out the fucking thank you for mass murderer line but is there is there going to be uh, before i lose my train of thought but it's, it's like is there going to be a point of view that the creator has that is again just are you optimistic about how things go or are you pessimistic about how things are going to go you know uh i suppose and what i remember hearing was that like the manga originally had that 
discussion between Eren and uh, Armin be way vaguer without mm -hmm. a lot of, and and there was a lot that was missing where when Armin was like what are you doing why are you doing this and he just kind of and apparently he just kind of goes I don't know and like that I can absolutely understand being like that is not a satisfying answer for a show that has had answers to everything so far and like incredibly satisfying ones at that you know um and I think uh the anime like shows you a lot of that in in them kind of visiting these places and having these moments of trying to you know having a connection between these characters but ultimately um it didn't feel i think well the feeling people were describing in the manga was that it was almost like armin was like writing off the atrocities that aaron was committing whereas the feeling i got from what they did here and then the expanded dialogue in those moments felt like it was like armin was kind of mourning his friendship with a friend that's lost you know mm -hmm. and i i think that's the right way to play that i think it's more appropriate to kind of look at it like damn there's no coming back for you and that fucking sucks and this is just me feeling that out you know and i much prefer that kind of uh, uh, take on it versus like no maybe we can still which Mikasa <laughs> has but yeah mm -hmm. uh, I have a stupid question uh, because I'm not familiar with the, the back half of Attack on Titan uh, Aaron gets the ability to jump forward as himself in time and influence himself and influence his dad and do all sorts of zany shit right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um does that mean that with the full control over like the ability to influence huge proportions of events over timelines that this solution was still somehow the best solution he could come up with? So it kind of, it, you don't get clear, clear answers, but it does seem to kind of, it, it seems like what they're hinting at is almost like a, a Doctor Strange looking into all the parallel universes type of thing where he's like, no matter what I did, this always happened. And he even has a moment where he kind of underlines that, like, I even remember, because the, the future and the past are all the same at a point, he's like, my head's all fucked up. He's like, I even remember influencing um, Dina to go after my mom, right? Like, and that's the most fucked thing ever because it's like, that's why we're all isn't it? Uh, that's that's why we're here and that's also and like but like Bertolt needs to exist in order to create the timeline so that Armin couldn't can get he just not do are. that so that's the thing is like that part is not <laughs> that part is kind of like it seems like it, it feels as if the way he's describing things you're like oh he he kept seeing things stuck being the way they are and no matter what he changed it always made that outcome right he looking at it he's like this is the best solution uh, I can see, but I also can't see anything else changing. So he's like almost describing it like there's like I tried and there's nothing else I could do. But and then he's also like, but how do things end up this way? He has a whole moment of going like, I guess I'm. I, he's like, am I just an idiot? Am I and like I think the end things are this way because I just suck, right? I and, I I I need I need more clarity on this because th there's I'm having a lot of trouble. Can he change things in the past? Yes or no it's he can he can he can change things in the past and he can make things in the past and the future happen kind of like he can make simultaneous things happen um but i th but i think what he was saying is that like with whatever changes he made the outcome that they reach at the end was always the same one that's i think so why what, do you, why do he take the shittiest possible i can't i can't I, i'm not in the position to <laughs> no no i'm not yeah. asking like you woolly why did but but it's like i'm having i'm having trouble with a like like this is a kind of like time mechanic question that the story can can split on in which i'm like i find it deeply and satisfying for the answer to giving a character wide ranging time control powers to be like i guess he's just stupid i think i think the yeah closed loop right i guess is the is the the term there like it would be that um this period of time up on, like from the moment from the access he has to the paths and everything that he's influencing there through ymir um there's he can fuck around with what's happening inside of this 
but like the end state that occurs afterwards is one that he he doesn't seem to be able to get to improve so regardless of whether or not he decided to go to the bakery or school somehow events would occur regardless you know Uh, like like in the on the macro level they were always going to end up really bad in the in the first place again i i i I, that's the interpretation kind of thing where where he can't change himself influencing his dad because he was the events that lead to him being able to influence his dad would require him to have gone in time to influence his dad. And therefore, if he had not gone in back in time to influence his dad, he would not have the power now to influence his dad. I mean, we're the, the loop. It's, it's a loop. Okay. Yeah. Then that's really funny that a character is given the most wide ranging ability conceivable in order to hand himself freedom. And yet still is, trapped <laughs> that's really funny um, now i now i now understand a fucking fortnight joke from a couple weeks ago okay in which somebody had a screenshot of aaron yeager skin in fortnight being free saying it's hilarious that fortnight is the only dimension in which aaron ever gets to be free <laughs> and so like you know there's um there's there's that whole uh, uh, uh bit where uh it's it's not 100 percent clear but then beyond that as well like if you um you take aaron for the fucking piece of shit that he is and um then the, you're like uh, th- with, in terms of things being kind of like are, are you hopeful or, or or are you more cynical i guess about how things are going to go down play out and like when it plays out and you get the the tree and you get mikasa and then you get the, the the time the future and it plays out and then it's like and then you know the nuclear apocalypse and everything gets wiped because conflict is conflict and there's still nazis over here and there's still people over here and then we we ultimately fast forward to one of obliteration and then time is cyclical we we are pretty much looking at i find the idea that the the like is well it was fated to happen i that sucks it it's yeah i i feel and it's not even and again even if you choose to to save like faded or not faded it's it's just like the, the again i felt like it was a it was a hopeless just kind of cynical depressing way to play it you know um the other aspect and and the thing is is trying to understand some of that as well like again i'm, I'm sure there's parts that i'm i'm not considering or not remembering or missing so i, I apologize mm-hmm. for anyone who can go better there into that but um to just jump off that point uh something else i think was that like ymir is kind of this um catalyst that like had like is just the ultimate victim and it's like oh she deserves her freedom more than anyone else and then like when she's granted it it's like the idea that oh no you're super fucked like you never you never had a chance to even be a a normal person a normal child like i i fully understand that and i and i like it's it's such a tragic character like she has it the fucking worst and then plays out that hatred in this fucked up way and i think i just think that like the way they kind of go with like what's her deal with like sticking to this vow and everything and i think all they really i think i just i i think it's okay that like they were getting at this fucked up form of love but i just think the the way it was worded probably needed to be better handled or translated because it's like it was ultimately love for the most evil person ever that kept her doing all of this and and locked her in and she needed to see i guess somebody else who was willing to kill the the person they loved who was also horrible to you know like i guess that's kind of the idea but if i i kind of i just feel like that's a part where like i i think i get what they're going for but i just think the language didn't really fully convey that idea of like this is a stockholm syndrome trauma broken child that never had a chance and like they kind of hint that it's like oh it was out of love but you've been living a nightmare 
but I, you know, I, I think like, yeah, just for fully explaining that aspect of how fucked up her, her relationship is. And the fact that she like, she needed, they do say like she needed a connection. Right. And it's almost like the abused victim that it's like, like tries to reach out to anyone, in, like including the abuser um, for some acknowledgement that they exist as opposed to somebody who in just solitary confinement right mm -hmm. is going to like put uh, uh, uh everything they can on having this connection like it, it, you know it, i feel like um that's kind of unstated but like you know it's the it's the way to make sense of that type of relationship um uh, i just want to point out that um i may be incorrect but uh the stockholm syndrome is not in the dsm it's not a real thing it's something invented by the media i see to explain how the stockholm police massively fucked up getting the okay. hostages out okay um, is there a term for the learned thing? helplessness learned helplessness is what okay. people usually mean okay when when like a cap when somebody who's like kept in a fucking basement somewhere you're kept in a situation that's so bad for so long and any attempt to fix the situation yeah. is met with such an extreme reaction gotcha that you cease attempting to fix it that being said, the, 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 the presence of, like, adoration or love for your direct abuser as a result of this is that there's a whole – you could write a book on this yeah. whole thing. Uh, yeah. the, the definition of just Stockholm is – Okay, yeah. That's, it's that's, it's it blunt. Doesn't... Right, okay. So uh, I think that, like – if that's what they were going for, learned helplessness, like they they touch on it too lightly and like could have like, you know, I guess fully made sure that like you you don't miss you leave they, they could have you, you want to make sure there's no room for misinterpretation here, you know, that mm -hmm. like that that the love, quote unquote, that she's feeling is some sort of pure, honest, you know, like true connection with her heart to 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 the king. Like brainwashing's you know? a fucking thing, but it's 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 a it's hard. It's a whole yeah. thing. Um, um, I, I, maybe I'm stuck on this, but like, and I can understand like a nihilistic story or like a like a a doomer view of the world, but like having characters either be fated or unable to escape from causality loops means all of their actions are amoral because they had to happen which means there's no story. It's just a sequence of events. I feel like that's a huge, big mistake. So I, I feel like what Aaron was, tr what they were trying to go for was one where like my actions are faded, but um, I will give you the freedom to choose what you want to do while I'm going to be stuck in this path. But yeah, it, 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 it feels again like it is not, it's not a hundred percent clear like um what had to happen and what was anyone's choice if if, if any of it was really um, like even even in in fucking greek myth when the tragedy is caused by your hero's fatal flaw which is an appropriate comparison here because aaron's got a fatal flaw you can argue with the fates like you can you can get a hold of a fate in Greece and be like fuck you bitch change it. For for most of the story, it felt like um, Aaron's personality from the jump. I'll, I'll kill all my enemies, Tatakai. If we kill everyone across there, then will we be free? Right. It felt like those are meant to be the moments that are like setting up the fact that when the final moment comes, I'm gonna just rumble everything and I'm gonna let you stop me and you can try to but I, I, I like I, I like negative freedom versus positive freedom almost like I'm gonna like the if you're taking away my freedom then I'll kill you is like often like the the thing so it feels as if that was what they were kind of setting up but um but that last conversation really confuses what dominoes were unavoidable and which ones weren't it definitely does. I mean watching like 10 dominoes fall over in a row is not the most exciting thing in the world no matter how flashy and well animated those dominoes are um there was some stuff that was uh uh f like super sick um there was there was uh I I enjoy that like Zeke is this horrible person is like 
um, who's all who's talking about enjoying the small things in life and baseball and shit is broken to a point where like he like loses all that and then basically has a the, there's a scene where Armin kind of reminds him of what's up and um, what he kind of is going for a quote unquote it's not even like a redemption moment. But it's like it's like it's like is this gonna be a redemption moment because he doesn't deserve that and he pops out and has a little bit of a like oh look at that huh even you know and like it's like it's almost like a moment of like yeah he's like like there's a even though I've killed so many people look at that sunset isn't that interesting anyways and then Levi shows up and just does what he does and it's like no that's correct this fucker needs to go like and this hey. needs to happen anyway but um you don't really get to have that full like. And now you're on the good guy side moment, you know? Hey, I have a I have a really important question that I, I kind of already know the answer to, but I, I need to have it confirmed. Um, I would forgive every single problem or annoyance I had with this whole series if you told me right now that that dinosaur titan that we saw in the ending of, like, the season two is in, in the show somewhere. <laughs> I think it's not. I don't think we ever actually see it. I but like, I remember that part with the beast titan in the middle and all the other animal titans, and one I, of them was a dinosaur. I think, I think, I think the the grasshopper and and, dino, and tyrannosaurus titan are in fact confirmed to not be there because there's a moment where all the previous generations of like uh, titan shifters show up on on Aaron's back. And there's and you mm -hmm. can get to see what each of them were and what they would have been and stuff. And so like that's the perfect opportunity. And through that you get to see a couple of different incarnations of Beast. And it's and it's interesting. But yeah, that fucker never shows up. Um, there is uh, uh, so there's some I, I can see how this is a there's a divisive one here. But like with uh, Falco, I'm like I I I'm I thought like when when Falco showed up, I was like that's on the nose. But I'm fine with it because mm -hmm. um, there's there's one, the, this character's name is Falco. Two, there's a scene way back when, when the Marleans are discussing the eradication of the Eldian people and how they need to switch over to weapons of war. And one of them mm -hmm. kind of looks up at the, at, the, the sea, at the sky and goes, huh, we don't have any flying titans, do we? And then uh, they go, and then anyway, and then they just kind of move on with the conversation. And then that pops up in a moment where like, the the final thing you're seeing here is the literal embodiment of the wings of freedom on their backs mm -hmm. that they carry through as the the motif you know throughout the, the throughout the uh, the show so i thought that was pretty all right um i uh i remember too as well the um uh okay falco uh, uh, uh zeke um uh fuck 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 what was it uh shit um oh um um with the I, I guess just like yeah the 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 i mean they the fact that the rumbling is is played out for you in such a way where like they fully know how horrendous this whole thing is um you know there's like there's a a a straight up like uh, Schindler's List reference I feel that goes down at one point, you know, um, and like the the overall thought experiment for this whole show being I, I, like I didn't know until like until well, I mean obviously you can't find out until later but the whole thought experiment for the show being what if the Madagascar plan went into effect is an interesting place to start and i uh it, it, and it's 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 it is it is way delayed but when you but getting around to that idea as like this is potential because like, i mean by the time you see zeppelins and shit you're already going like all right you know i i, I get what we're good we're going for here um and the armbands and all that but like the parallels are not just like hey look these are pseudo nazis and things it's like no 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 literally the nazi plan to use madagascar as the last place to send them all was a real thing you know um if you haven't heard of it you can look this up there's real history that's called the madagascar plan and uh there was a point when it was a very important step um where it basically when it was uh there the first couple steps were you know crystal knocked and then jude and rouse and all that 
and then shipping the, them everywhere. And then there was a point before the final solution where they were like, what if we just sent them all to Madagascar and, and made that the, the, the place where all the Jewish people go from now on? And it was important because mentally, even though the step didn't occur, it allowed them to get closer to the final solution mentally without like without actually you know with, by, by tiptoeing up to it so to speak um and uh it, it's it's a real fucked up thing you can go look up the history of that uh to find out more but that I, was yeah i the the further we get into this the more i'm hung up on aaron's stupid time travel shit in which i'm hearing in my head going anime hitler had to do it there was no other way said fate and god and or or like what the fuck message is this more peace could have been obtained if the last 20 actually went you know yeah i just that's the thing i just (laughs) don't i just it's like you it's just a bunch of dominoes the 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 part like the story of the tragic human condition does not it doesn't have to be this hopeless cynical nihilistic thing and, no, no. And, i i don't and, i don't even and, and mean don't morally or ethically or as a takeaway i'm just saying from a narrative perspective having none of your characters actually have any agency whatsoever is boring and so the, and, but the and problem to, is to that reach I, the end of your story and be like, "Haha, I tricked you. You thought they were making decisions, but actually they were going down their predetermined paths." And that's the part that I'm like, I don't, I don't know if it is if it's if they were if everything was meant to be that like they like that's the problem. Like I, I I think like there might be uh, 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 some of it. I, I think the there might be that some of it was. Op- influ- able to be influenced but some of it was not but uh, but it's again it's not explained well enough you know i don't know that the intention was this was all pointless but if that conclusion is correct then it does in fact mean that the dominoes were unstoppable from the jump and there's nothing anyone could do including aaron himself um it's boring man and that is ultimately <laughs> uh, uh, again a, a like a hopeless like way then, to, if, go, if to that's go. if that's like if we if we assume like, I'll, just for the, the the this second right now that like oh yeah you know aaron tried like a, a million different combinations or whatever and you know he couldn't find any better solutions and i guess some of it kind of had to be this way then any discussion about any character's motivations or any character's emotional state or or like that scene you were just describing with with zeke and levi it's like well i mean that's that's what was going to happen that's how it was always going to happen and they had no choice yeah so um i will say that this doesn't to me at least feel like um it doesn't feel like the the game of thrones level train wreck that is like we the creators are like checked out of this world and trying to get nothing's ever gonna compare like like game it doesn't feel like that and i don't think that that comparison is is after because like yeah that is a like we can't get to these credits fast enough we have star wars movies to make right uh level of bad (laughs) bitches and enjoy making that star wars movie (laughs) dnd how'd it go right I, and I and I think that this is just a, a case of almost like the, the the creator like either not knowing how to stick the landing or having a view of the world that is just diametrically opposed to my own in some ways, which I'm but I'm not again I'm and I'm not sure and I and I and I wish I like I feel like we need to see more to get what you're going for, but if I'm reading the mm-hmm. text for what it is it it does feel like um to to fight to fight tatakai tatakai yeah, yeah, yeah. why you know um and i say this like cuz we're focusing on this part of it and i'm like and i and i but i'm also just like there's so much i loved man and i could i could gush on the moments oh there's some and good the shit even in what i enjoyed i fucking love so much of this show it's so good some of the like every, like some of the, the the not just the twists but just like again like the 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 you know the fucking 
Even the moment uh, Historia gets the, like, the, the moment he kisses her hand and the face and that, like, a lot of, and these, it, ah, oh, it handles things in such a way that I feel is so, so human. There are so many moments throughout the story that are so unbelievably human. And then even the parts where it's even, a, it's a subplot, but it's like, you know, um, Armin feels the way he feels, but how much of that is influenced by who Bertolt was and how he felt about Annie? Is that going to make me less of me? And if so, you know, does that matter in the end? And then also the part where it's like, who do we choose to revive? And did we make the right choice? And, the you know, and to the end, he like, you know, like uh, Erwin, just like, I don't matter. I'm dying, but keep fighting. Like that, like everything about those moments is like, oh, like, I can't describe how much we were into this, you know, along the way. And and I still, to this point, here's how good I think it is. I would still recommend Attack on Titan. And I mm -hmm. still will. Because so much of it is fucking incredible. So, um, hey, let me ask you. Let's do a breakdown. I'm do not a, the kind of a, person a breakdown. that'll, like, hit this type of, like, conclusion and, and feel like... The, therefore, the entire journey up to this point is is, is not worth it. I, I I'm not that person. I still think I would recommend this to people, and I still will because there's so much to love. But so like, there's a discussion you gotta have when you hit this point. You know, uh, I've described I've described. Uh, I don't know if you. Uh, I, I can never remember if you've seen it, but I talk about Battlestar Galactica a lot. I haven't seen it. As talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right at the finish line, like like right, like term turbo fumble on the finish line it's astonishing it's mm -hmm. crazy um and it's so good right up until there mm -hmm. do you feel that like attack on titan is like like where where does it sit on you if like it's great it's great it's great it's great and then it kind of fumbles a little bit i know or that, it's just a little confusing or unsatisfying i know that i know that a lot of people are uh they if manga readers uh the vibe i got was that like the 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 last couple of chapters were just a downhill thing and i and i i'm not there i feel like yeah the i've an seen people say that the anime and the and the manga endings are actually like somewhat different it's because, more of an editing because, because choice the, but like I, they are think, different yeah and i think editing as well as like a, 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 a enhancing things for time taking the time like expanding on things that weren't expanded on you know even to, the, the 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 someone was describing how like when you see Aaron and and uh, Armin going to vis to see to visit different places on uh, 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 like and having this conversation while looking at lava and looking at the sea and stuff like mm -hmm. it it tonally changes things versus having it like kind of just a go th quickly and it's kind of rushed in the manga and you don't really fully get to take in the pacing of it of like this sad final moment you know and ultimately the one where it's like um yeah and so the, apparently the anime like handles that better and such and to 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 me to answer your question um i like i feel like i love i think it's super strong and everything going down is is great um up until i think Aaron's motivation conversation um the followed by the Ymir like language so to speak and then seen like i've seen the most vitriolic response is ymir like inverting her like ideation Ymir? of the king that fucked her over ymir like 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 i i still like i think ymir could have been done better but i don't think they did the the they they did they, again there's just there's a there's a better point to be made there right but the three points are are the like uh, uh, Aaron's motivation, Ymir's uh, um, motivation, and then once they're dead and gone, and we see Mikasa play out when the tree and everything and the, the end of it, the um, though the the Futurama <laughs> esque city build up into the apocalypse and then the cycle ultimately repeats right like those are the things that i'm like from that point on i'm like oh man that's that's where it just hurts you know and um i would say that like prior to that um i'm i'm very on board with it and 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 like things going down are pretty cool up to that point so Essentially, I mean, for what it's worth, going into this final 90 minutes, I was still 
ex- as excited as fuck. And it was around the halfway point where I started to like have these questions and go like, oh, we're running out of time. How are we going to, you know, address some of this? And then you kind of really see like, again, a, a the most heartbreaking scene of just like, you know, people on a cliffside backed between the rumbling and death and like it's just Mm -hmm. this insanely fucking brutal scene and you kind of call it and then it gets called right there and and you're wondering like wow what is the toll of this conflict going to be and at no point in my brain do I ever think 80 percent you know but mm-hmm. it's like, oh, but then that number had to be run down to such a point where even if there's retaliation, it couldn't be meaningful. Therefore, the Paradisians continue to exist in the Eldians. And you're like, okay, mm-hmm. all right. So then we're going to just, yeah, genocide good, right? Not quite, but like, what, uh, you know? So, yeah, that's what it is. It's, 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 the, it's that last half of that last episode, you know? Um, I don't know where... In, Battlestar Galactica it happens but like is it like the last episode it's the very last episode okay it's it's like the it's the very last episode yeah then I would say I would say same thing here I, but like the last episode here is like extra long <laughs> so I'd say the last half of the last episode yeah um, um and then and the thing is too is like I um within these moments within these these points we're, just, we're talking about too there's these things where you're like here is um here is a, a, a Reiner like basically um almost trying to like almost em- em- embodying like the the like helos the, the the hero that killed the 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 full titan you know back in the day or whatever the fake hero um mm-hmm. reiner has this this incredible arc and you know um that is all happening but then when you see um um what the fuck is it called uh, hallucinogenia i believe um the 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 creature right that is ultimately the real like the, the the fucking point the thing that's discovered like it also just kind of cuts away without an answer as to what happened and where we, we see them stopping it and then we go back to Aaron, but then we don't really know what the fuck happens to with hallucinogenia so like there's another unanswered question there but right up until that moment reiner is incredible he's so good you know and the rest of the crew is there and they're all so good and there's this amazing moment you know, with Connie and, 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 you know, as they're like the, as the, 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 the gas is surrounding them and they're like, God damn it, you know, all this suffering and this is how we go out, huh? You know, like everything about everyone in that group that is not Aaron is so fucking just, oh, you just feel you for them, man. You mentioned something that I, I kind of want to have one follow up question for. And I know, I'm sorry, I, I know it deals with the time stuff, but you mentioned Aaron's motivation, which is freedom and to destroy all of his enemies. I assume that's his 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 reasoning, right? Um, but like, he, 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 he gets to that motivation when his mom dies, but, but he killed his mom. So, so what that's, the fuck is his motivation? So that's, that's, the, that's the thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> talking about this with Punch Mom a bit and going back what, over. What, is it stupid? Is like... He just, like I mean, yes, right? Yes, the answer is yes, <laughs> confirmed. But um, that part, like, I, I, I wasn't sure if it was like, because because he says he doesn't know enough times there where it's like, is it that this was happening and then, like, he goes back in and underlines it? It's already in the script, but he underlines it because he knows that it needs to avoid Bertolt in order for that timeline to continue to play out the way it does or is it that it never would have played out that way and he's the one that made it happen right um again everything up until that point seems to indicate that his personality type his stubbornness his way of viewing the world is the reason why things play out the way they do is attack on titan just anti-nuke is is that the is that the end result of the story is that people should individuals should not have wide-ranging yeah planet annihilating power weapons of mass destruction fucking, are bad yeah that's a that's a tired fucking theme that's 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 absolute but then again nukes are like, necessary yeah, okay to, no shit but nukes are also necessary to save the world at the at the end of the day no, are, are they <laughs> i don't know about that yeah um that is that is that is one take on it but i think no i think that's a that's um 
uh, 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 one element. Uh, isolated would is a reductive aspect, but more than anything, it's it's just it's the genocide, right? Or is it like that people like Aaron should not have nukes? <laughs> um, when someone who cannot like at all take into take into account like. <laughs> Like when someone who cannot take into account any subtleties of a situation, or or like, like someone like that who's just like, no, they're the enemy, and that's it. There's no black. It's black and white. Um, what th that is absolutely the worst kind of person to have this to give this I, power to. But then, but then now, hold on, because Zeke's version of it is like in the passive sense. It's like, well, no, let's just sterilize ourselves, right? Which is yeah. again another form of genocide you mm -hmm. know and um um it, it's yeah it, it's 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 more about the, the the question of you know when the power switches hands where do you stop you know that's that's the their their bigger point that they're, they're I, I feel think, like trying to go for i feel bad because i you know uh, no you know what i feel bad and also not bad i'm ambivalent i'm i'm of two conflicting emotions because on the one hand, I want to give every creator like the benefit of the doubt for the themes on their story, particularly on a story that I have not personally finished. I don't think that's I don't think that's fair, right, for me to judge a story that's unfinished. On the other hand, I can't undo the brick through the window that is the panel of Armin saying, "Thank you for becoming a mass murderer for our sake." <laughs> okay. Like like I, I I can't undo it in my mind. So I haven't <laughs> seen that. Um but I'll show it to you. It's in my DMs right now. Okay. But <laughs> uh uh I I be, like is that one of those things that was just yeah, part of what the anime just handled completely differently? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Here you go. Mistranslation is that what brick through the window? Just, just. Yeah, that's yeah, that's insane. That's 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 <laughs> awful. Just, that's awful, and that's not. And the, and, and not I think the, the weirdest the thing about it. it is when I talk about it. Not a mistranslation. I, okay. Um, people go, "Oh, that was a bad translation." To which people I go, get, "No, no it, okay. it wasn't. It was okay. legit." Yeah, that is that is uh, very. Uh, that's not the vibe I got. Um, but like, <laughs> uh, when, oh fuck, what was I going to say right before that? Ugh. Yeah, there, there's a lot, but, but, um, the, uh, the, the final note, the, the, the final <laughs> note of that conversation ends up being like, Hey, we'll, I guess we'll see each other in hell, right. For the war yeah. crimes we've committed, you know? And like, that's like, yeah, yeah, that's. Okay, you know, sure, but but I um, yeah, I don't, I, I I do feel that the difference though is is that like Mikasa was like up until that last possible minute, just like no, but maybe no, but maybe there's a way, and it's just like it really doesn't like everyone else has already accepted it, and she just and they almost have to like be like, hey, you know what, you come with us to do the other plan. Don't think about it too hard because she just can't get brought to that point, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's, Yo, that's fucking um, wild. That sucks. <laughs> what you just described with Mikasa. Yeah. Um, that sucks so bad. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, and it's, <laughs> you, you know that you're like, I want to feel for like the, 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 the part where your heart is breaking here, but like you have to hit cold reality way before we get to this point i i did know? i did see and, a clip from the anime where aaron is like crying and talking about mikasa oh yeah yeah, so, yeah 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 and, and like he's so wretched it's, he it's is pathetic it's it's and and like 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 <laughs> armin like stares at him like what the fuck just happened and it's the moment because and it's the thing is because it's like it's like he never acknowledges her he never acknowledges it he doesn't and then when you're like oh you're bullshitting you don't really believe in that you clearly care right and it's this moment of like oh god of course i care but i just suck you know and and and, and it's yeah it's it's like it it does answer the question in a way that reveals him you know um 
I think him not, I, th I think you need some version of that, right? You need some version of, dude, how do you actually feel here? You know? And, and that was, that was, I think needed, but like, it's just underlining the fact that he's like, yeah, man, I do suck. You know? <laughs> like it, it, Aaron, Aaron is interesting in a way, like from a meta narrative perspective of like you, I'm sure you've seen like people unironically posting like Patrick Bateman fucking shit and go, what a Sigma. Like he's the villain of that movie. You, you psychos. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Aaron is like, kind of like that in which he's a, he's a, oh, he's a shonen protagonist. He turns into a big thing, but like over, like he is always shown to be like a pathetic loser. In, in in no matter how big an adult and and strong he gets he's still like the the dumbest stupidest shittiest loser ever and the problem and that's that's cool <laughs> and the pro the, the, and then there's like and then there's the um almost a bit where like everyone who hits that conclusion uh, uh early on in the in in this final part is like okay 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 can we can we talk can we talk there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to talk about this and it's like yeah in fact we kind of do talk but it doesn't matter because even if you guys fail i'm still going to carry through with this because that's the way i that's the way things are going and again all the all the indicators are because that's the way i see the world but then it's like but part of it was forced but uh, uh, yeah but anyway that's that's again the biggest problem right the biggest problem here um i uh yeah i still uh uh fucking there's so much in this that i i fucking find incredible and love and there's so many characters that are um handled so well and then you know and then getting done dirty you know but uh it's it is a finish line thing and i yeah, I'm glad, I suppose, that I kept this one to myself up until finishing it mm -hmm. because it maximized the enjoyment along the way. Um, and I do also see that some people were, like, looking at that manga closer as a, like, what if... Is this setting up for a sequel type of thing? And I did not get that vibe at all. Like, so I saw, so I saw like, oh, they had the audacity to set up for, like, a, the next bit or whatever. And it's like, no, that really felt like a time is a loop bit. That did not feel like a, we're planning for more. But I, I, I you know, I could always be proven wrong when they announce something else. But it didn't feel that way to me. I didn't interpret you know, it that way. What with time being a flat circle, I think it's almost appropriate for me to want to circle back to something that we talked about at the very beginning. So, like, my perception of this story is always going to be tainted now because of the overwhelming negative reception and argument about its ending that's been going on for multiple years now like when did the manga end i feel it was like two years ago uh i mean it ended while the all i know is it ended while the like the final parts were still airing right because i remember when i saw that and i was like oh fuck okay time to 2021 time to 2020 yeah two years two okay. years ago if if the fucking final season hadn't come out in like 10 different parts this fucking discourse wouldn't have gotten to restart over and over and over and over again mm -hmm. every time the final season came out mm -hmm. it would have run its course and then the final season would come out and then you'd watch the final season mm-hmm but instead, like, every single time I've seen the words Attack on Titan come up in, like, fucking two years, people start arguing about Armin thanking fucking Eren for the genocide. And it's, it's so intense over and over. They should not have described the final. They should not have used the word final when they did. That was in, that the was final season part two is is like clown. They shit. should, they should so not funny. have said the word final like quite simply um because the fact that it takes them time to make something that is so like like beautiful and well done and e technically incredible or whatever is like uh, yeah sure right but <laughs> but like, like it looks well, like we're, we're putting, dividing the last slice of the pizza into half they were, and they then were into putting thirds out and then into quarters and then into fifths and 
that use of the word final was the, the was the absolute setup for failure in they're, they're putting out goddamn fucking parts of an anime labeled like you, how you or i would label an edit of a video sure sure, sure. final yeah. final the, again final the, part three for real final this time the final season part three act two <laughs> yeah yeah um don't don't do that don't do that just make it and then call it when you call it unless you unless they thought they would have been done sooner and then the changes they were making required more arguing behind the scenes before to for what to to edit in addition to the technical you know um but yeah that's that's it that's it ultimately and um i mean i i that i i don't know that i don't i i have questions I don't know that the the creator has answered them. Um, I don't know if they're ever going to, or maybe I just never looked too deep into it. And I haven't gone on a deep dive, um, so you know anything I'm, I'm misinterpreting, reading wrong here, not getting subtext of, or all of that shit. I, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just giving you what I what I felt uh, watching it with Punch Mom and and the, you know the initial uh, uh, thoughts on the matter. So I can definitely stand to hear uh, what other um, more point by point breakdowns might have to say, but that's oh it. my god! I just I looked into the chat just now and saw the phrase Scott Pilgrim arguments are next week, and I'm like, oh man, hey Wooly, did you know that Scott's not supposed to be a good person? <laughs> oh god, yeah. Oh man, you yeah. know he's supposed to be like a dirtbag. Did you know that? Um. <laughs> One of one of my favorite animes, man. This is one of my favorite animes. You know, like it 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 was the uh, the 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 yeah the glowing journey week to week was uh anyway. All right, right. I just want to say too um, that I will be. Aaron did nothing wrong. Aaron did nothing wrong. <laughs> In fact, he did everything right. No. I will be bumping this soundtrack for the rest of time. Mm -hmm. I like, like it is one of the most fire OSTs ever, ever. It is insane how fucking good this thing is, man. Like I uh, and and the the uh, uh, the the even just lyrically and like the feeling you get from every one of them from the original theme to you know Sasageo and the rumbling even the fucking season three or four boyfriend music boyfriend music with uh yoshiki or whatever like all of it i love this soundtrack top to bottom it's unbelievable um god damn is that just like f five stars f passing grade all across the board incredible some of the best uh, um ops ever uh in anything yeah. 